Hiya! Jay! What have you been working on? I hear you say, oh unheard and unseen viewer. Well, a new airlock. New airlock code. It works on two chips and has a bunch of functions. Let's just put the basic function in here. We'll push this door. And we're outside. And even though the outside doors opened uh, before we saw your suit's uh, indicator go down to zero, uh, it was empty because the gas sensor is down there. And I also have the um, um, the chip set to uh, no yield. There's no yielding. So it just goes immediately. And I can push this button now. I also have it set to explosive recompression. So that's why it did that. But I can also click this button. And it'll open up. But I can also stop. And go back this way. Now, uh, let's take the code out for a sec here. Oh, uh, we'll turn the hardware uh, controller off and the mode selector off, and then we'll pull the mode selector chip, go back over here, click, and we will set right now. Is this the right code? This is the right code. So right now we have it set to stop if they, um, to not stop in a safe room or in a vac room. So let's turn this to stop in both of those kinds of rooms. Right, 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 right. Back in here. Turn the mode selector on. And then the hardware chip back on. And now we want to go back into the uh, base. Closes the door. Now we're in a vacuum. Both doors are closed. And it's set to stop. So it's not going to cycle any further. And I can get back outside. Or go back inside. Uh, this is just for debugging. That's not there. This is just a manual mode select. There we go. And unfortunately, I have it set to explosive decompress again, which is not way the way it's supposed to be. Um, just a second. I got to make a note for myself. I just thought of an instance where um, uh, both of these would be the same. If um, if you have zero pressure on the safe room, then it's basically a vac room, vac room, and you don't have to have it uh, stop there. So I'm going to set that not to stop there. But let's turn that off. Turn the selector off. We'll rewrite it with um, actual pressure in mind. Oh, and we want this in case I want to change something. There we go. Okay, let's cycle through again. So we're in a safe room. We can leave if we'd like to. Or if we want, we can proceed to a vac room. And change our mind, go back in. Or just keep leaving. Now the reason that I have these uh, vac room and safe room options is in case you want to like um, decompress a, uh, a canister or something. And safe room in case you want it to stop when the room is safe and be able to decide what you want to do or if you want to... Um, uh, take a drink or something and then go back outside. You don't have to go all the way in the base. You can also set the safe room temperature, uh, the safe room um, pressure to be much lower. So you can set it to be minimum. You don't have to fill it up all the way so that when you're working, you can come in here, you can go to your safe room settings, take your drink, uh, it might be much lower, it might be 40, take a drink, then go back outside without having to do a full compression, decompression and compression each time. 
Um, that's why that's there. And again, the vac room is just so you can empty shit out. Now, things that I want to add, um, which is not working right now, is this will this slider will indicate um, the pressure differential between the rooms that you're that you're in. So if you're uh, in this room, it's going to like drain out until um, it's like green and red. It's going to drain out all the way, and then you can you'll know that you're in a vacuum or what the progress is. As you can see, it's pretty uh, easy. And then I'm going to try to do it the other way because the um, uh, the slider goes in both directions. So when you and then uh, this will also be an emergency button. So if you click it off. It'll close the out outside door and blow out the inside door. This isn't if you're in Venus or something, or you're on the moon, and you are uh, damaging your lungs. You can get into your base uh, very quickly uh, in case you've like destroyed your suit or something like that. And then when it's online, it'll be the uh, uh, the normal mode. Um, I'm also thinking of having um, a selector. So if you want. Uh, so if you're going to have this an interbase airlock that is normally open, unless something's wrong, then both doors will remain open uh, until it senses that the pressure has dropped below a preset value. Then it'll close both doors, or you can, your normal operation can be both doors closed or uh, a combination of the two. Um, I'm not going to put a pressure plate in there. That was one of the options that I thought of. Like if you put a pressure plate. Uh, so it knows if you're standing in there and it'll it'll cycle uh no that's dumb because sometimes you'd want to come in here and do stuff you don't want that um uh, it might be useful if it's like um an interbase door so you have pressure plates on both sides to open and close but i mean like a single proximity detector would probably do a good thing do do a good job of that too but anyways that's just uh future stuffs um I think that's about it. There's been an update onto the uh, the um, uh, the game, which has um, made it oh so much more playable. That's sarcasm. Uh, they've uh, fixed, I, and I knew they would. I said that they would. They fixed the issue where uh, the the glitch where um, you could sometimes not have traders showing up on your um, contact manager list. And that would allow you to reload the game with three new um, traders. You can't do that anymore. So now it is truly going to be a six-hour playthrough if you play by the rules and not edit stuff. Uh, it'll truly be six hours to find a up to six hours or more to find a particular trader because it takes 20 minutes for each one of them to uh, for the for them to go away and refresh. And it seems that uh, gas traders come up a whole lot more than any of the other traders. So that is a pain in the face hole. Um, if they, if they, it, it really seems like they don't want us to use the traders. They admitted that it wasn't done. They said, they said on the release notes that it's half finished. Okay, if it's half finished, don't put it in the game because we can't use it if it's half finished. Anyways, also something else that I would have really liked is uh if there was like if you had the computer hooked up to be able to run the computer run the code from the computer and not have to constantly be swapping chips okay even apollo had bench um uh, bench testing okay they had the entire apollo uh capsule on a bench somewhere that they could they could test stuff and move things and ch change things around and see how the the uh um uh the computer was going to behave. They they didn't need to shove it all into a into a, a, a an enclosed unit, and even when it was an enclosed unit, they had a bench tester for that. And not having that is annoying, because each one of these modes has to be tested individually, and if I forget to change this value, I may not notice, and I have to go in and it's like, okay, what did I change, and just go through every single line of code. One, two, three, four, one, two. Especially down here where they're all like, or where they're all like oddly, uh, sp um, oddly spaced lines. So that was fucking annoying. 
very annoying. It makes me not want to do code for this game. Ugh. Like, it'd be easier to um, write it in C and then import it in as something. Because uh, I think you can do that with the framework, but who knows? So I could I could actually change the code that's in the that's in the the chip, but I don't really want to do that. That would be more more effort than it would be worth. But yeah, that's the code. It's not done. I'm not planning on releasing it um, just yet. Still needs to have a little bit of work done. I don't like releasing releasing stuff that's buggy. I was going to put um, like. Um, like a hardware selector kind of thing, so like you could get in here and you could set the um, internal, like with the ins inside door open, and set the inside um, uh, airlock vent to like inward or something, and that would, with it off, and that would set debug mode, and then, or configure mode, and then you can change the configuration with, with one dial, and then the other one would be like your selector or something, then I thought... This isn't a consumer appliance that's being sold at Sears. Why do I need to do this? I don't need to do this. Everybody's going to have access to a computer because you got to write it to the computer, and it's just easier to have all the configs right at the top of the right at the top of the system. Um, I also thought maybe uh, to have one have the chips communicate with one another to give each other their configuration, but again, that's you only set the um, um, the target pressures once, so I don't see why the uh, uh, why the chips need to do, need to tell that to one another. It's just easier if you just manually set it the first time, um, or you know, at very worst, have like a memory chip sitting outside. But that comes into other problems. The hardware controller um, only has one pin left. Uh, for configuration, everything else is in there. Uh, so, like, and they share some devices. So the uh, uh, the mode controller can see the doors, um, but not the vents. So it has uh, like the gas sensor and the dial in there, and it has two pins left to do stuff. So that might be a light, an indicator that the modes are changing, or uh, tell it like uh, if it's communicating with the with the um with the inside the base it'll be a green light um if it's vacuum it'll be a blue light and if it's outside it'll be a red light or something of that nature uh but eh do we really need that i wish the diode light can change color but it's, it only has white for nothing for zero and then um all the way red is one and all the way green is negative one or uh, reverse. I would have liked to be able to choose the colors, but they don't let you. And uh, the only other thing I can think of is to put like... Um, uh, well, you can do that. I don't have... you you know, Like, it doesn't have to be done. But like um, uh, a pipe meter, like a, a valve meter, to show you how like compressed it is or decompressed it is but then that doesn't need to be physical you can put a, a, a an atmospheric a gas monitor out here to do the same thing but anyways I'm over explaining see you later